Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to the Long Play Survival Series. We're on episode 50, and that means World Download and World Tour. Before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you everybody for joining in on the live Twitch streams. Thanks for joining the Discord and the Patreon as well to any of you guys that did. All of the links for those are down below if you want to catch out. The World Download link is actually going to be in the Discord, so if you wanted to get that link, go ahead and click on the Discord link down below. It'll take you right there, and uh, you can follow those instructions on how to download it. And what better place to start than our starter house this is the one that we made in episode one you guys might be able to tell from the thumbnail if you're just starting the series right now and i left the door open i guess last time i left but uh, for the first few episodes maybe the first 10 12 i'm not sure we actually hung out in here for a while this was the main storage space and uh yeah we eventually moved everything out i was going to turn this into another room it's kind of empty but you know the uh, the exterior of my builds are what i care more about anyways you'll notice there are villagers here we actually didn't move any of these villagers here until later on in the series. This was about five episodes, maybe six episodes ago. In the immediate vicinity of the house, we have obviously this iron golem trashing the wheat fields, but we have the big old wheat field. This thing is huge. Took a long time to build, and it was fun. We did this early, early on, right after we built this barn for the cows and the sheep. If you've been watching the series, you basically, uh, you'll, you'll notice that I go here every day. I go here every single episode. If I can, I gotta get some beef, gotta get some wool every now and then. It gets a little loud in here, but uh, this is also where I go to get a little bit of extra XP if I need to. We also have XP at the skeleton farm too. Next thing we built was this little pond right next to the house, and uh, I like this. We have an iron golem that's actually permanently stuck in here. It's, I, don't, I mean, it's his fault he got in here. Actually, he can probably hop out, unless I take this slab out. No, he can definitely hop out right here. He's just, he's choosing to take a swim. Oh, there he goes. Goodbye. But yeah, we built this little pond, a little bit of oak, deep slate, and a little bit of well. You know, just, it just makes the area look a little bit nicer, a little bit more thick with a little bit more detail. Going back to the other side of the starter house, we do have, oh, look, there's more cats that are popping up. There's a bunch of different colored ones around here now. But yeah, when we go over to the other side of the house, we're going to be looking at the boat dock here, or the boat house, rather. This is where we just, like, not store the boats, but park the boats, I guess, for more of a storyline. If we were going to uh, be parking the boats anywhere, it would be here. It was pretty early on, but we did make the mineshaft entrance right here, and this will actually take you down. Uh, we dug down pretty deep. There's a whole episode where we, we just had to get ores early on. It's just early game stuff. We had to get it all done, but uh, in order to make it easier, not only did we go up, but we can go down here. I'll actually just, if I can jump down, man, I am stuck. There we go. But yeah, to make it easier, I actually just made a little bit of a skeleton XP farm down here once I found a skeleton spawner, but this was a nice little XP farm, and it's nice to just sit here AFK and get some XP every now and then. Man, there are a lot of things to show you on this series. When we are climbing up this way, past the edge of the farm, we can actually look at the concrete maker. This one was made out of mainly nether blocks, but, uh, I mean, it's fun. You just basically stand in here. I have tutorials for this as well on my channel, but if you stand here with your pickaxe in your offhand, there should be water at the back of this, and you're just going to continuously make any kind of concrete or color of concrete that you want. Next, we do have our nether portal, and actually we haven't made any nether builds yet, so there's not really a reason to go into the nether portal, but this thing was really fun to build. I've never built like a giant gate as a nether portal. Usually I build them as something that's indented into the mountain or part of the landscape, but it was really fun to actually just make a giant portal as part of like, just to make it a statement, you know? Right next to the nether portal, we do have the bee dome, and if this guy would, okay, which door are you gonna use, bud? And I'm gonna come in, thank you. There are, I wonder if he's been letting bees out, actually. Because there's less bees in here. I wonder if this guy has actually been letting the bees out just by tinkling with the doors. But anyways, this is, the, this was actually one of the more fun builds because uh, it, I basically could just do whatever I want. I built a dome structure out of glass, just a classic dome here, put brick on the outline of it, and then just put bees in here everywhere, put glowberries everywhere in here, and man, it, this was just, this was one of the, definitely one of the more fun episodes for me to record. If anybody was wondering what the most fun was to record, it might have been the little harbor here that I'll show you in just a moment, but this one was definitely up there too. Leaving the bee dome, this thing, man, and, and if you'll notice, like, I spent a lot of time, there's paths everywhere leading to all these builds. It's all interconnected, this entire town. But the farthest we do go this way with the town is this little dam. Actually, this one was up there as well for one of the more fun ones to build because I'd never built anything like this. I uh, just built some water spillways coming out here, and then a dam on the other side. It doesn't necessarily make sense, like, the I don't know if, like, in real life you'd ever see a dam that's at a 90 degree angle, but, um, I mean, it is what it is. We can go over here. It's made out of, like, predominantly just deep slate. Nothing on the other side. There is one boat I was kind of hinting at maybe traveling this way, but I have not gone that way yet. Plenty of flowers all over the place, too. Crossing this bridge, though, um, I didn't necessarily do anything to this tower yet. 
Uh, we go in this way, and it's just an industrial looking building. We have lanterns. Under here we have lava back there. This is actually a cave that we've been caving in, and I figured it would be cool to turn this into something that used to be a giant open stone like hole. Uh, now it's just a big dam. And that's what I try to find. I always try to find uh, areas that have like negative space, like on a painting rather, where it's it's nice to just fill in those areas in with detail. Right now we are actually behind the cozy village though. If we walk up this way, we're entering the cozy village. This is the harbor village that I had made. This was probably the most fun that I had while recording because building this, it was just, it was fun being so abstract. Uh, there's just lanterns all over. Obviously, you guys probably think that I go way... Like, I probably put way too many lanterns on my builds, but I love lanterns, man. I love them. Yeah, we got brick. We got birch. We even have copper that's almost all the way oxidized, or maybe it is oxidized all the way. Um, we have oak and deep slate, even stone, more brick. It's just a bunch of different type of buildings all put together here. Did actually make one little entrance. All, all of the buildings, if you'll notice, they actually don't have anything in them. You can open this up. Nothing. I didn't put anything in there. I might put villagers there at some point. There was some storage in here, but the only thing that actually you can use is this one. And this is just a little shortcut up to the back pathway behind the village, up to that tower that I said that we could talk about in just a little bit. Look at this. So this one was actually pretty fun to build also. Pretty standard little home, but I called it a tower. The interior is pretty, uh, it's like standard. There's really nothing in here. I didn't decorate it too much. It's just a standard home. It's like an Ikea home. Next to that, though, if we hop in here is all the chickens. We have a little chicken coop. Let's just throw that out. This was probably the easiest thing to build. I already did a tutorial on this. We did put the campfires here instead of the trap doors. I thought that was a nice little touch, but man, the chicken coop is always fun. It was just a nice little uh, easy build to do, and I thought it was nice. It's always nice to give like the chickens a place to call home. That actually reminds me, I haven't built like a pig pen yet. And actually, guys, if you want, just throw some suggestions in here for things that you would like me to build. The thing that you would like to see me build the most, because I'm not ending this series at all. It's still going into 1.19. I still need to obviously get Elytra. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. I haven't gone to the dragon. I've just been so focused on building everything in this series that I, it's just it's it's crazy something i don't necessarily need to show you but back here is just a nice pathway that we spent a lot of time building but um, i'm gonna walk back and just show you a little bit there's yeah it's it's just a nice little decoration for behind the the, the harbor village if i didn't want to pop in through that way right under this tower though is actually something pretty interesting this was a pretty well received episode and uh, people seem to like it and I, I like it a lot too it is overgrown now though because i haven't been here in a while to trim it up with the shears um to see exactly what would be overgrowing oh there goes an egg but yeah this is the lush cave we spent an entire episode just decorating and excavating this entire cave and this one this one was super fun i loved it backing out it almost looks like you can't go in there at first there's so much foliage in the way and it's <laughs> this is nuts Going on the path this way, we have the mountain tunnel. We'll check that out. We have the aqueducts right behind it, and I'll, I'll jump over there into just a second too, but this, this mountain tunnel was, for some reason, like episode 21 of this series, this was the one that took off. I don't know how, but thank you everybody for supporting this episode. I really do appreciate it. This one was super fun to build. All over town, you'll see me in the episode sleeping on these benches. I actually got these from a FWIP stream. And uh, if you guys don't know, FWIP is a very popular Minecraft content creator. Super, like, super cool builder. Um, but you just put some signs and some trap doors in the back. You got a little workbench, or just a bench, I mean, to sleep or, I guess, uh, put your respawn point at. We'll have little docks here and there. This one's a little bit lesser detailed than the other ones. Next up, we'll cross the river. Look at this bridge. We spent an entire episode building this bridge design, too. I'm actually doing a tutorial soon on this bridge design because um, it's fun. I've been doing this bridge design in a lot of different worlds now. I'm actually going to go inside of it to give you a, a closer look. Um, it's pretty well lit up. With, I made sure that there was lanterns everywhere. It's a lot of spruce and a lot of deep slate, just like a lot of stuff in this series. You're going to see a lot of deep slate and a lot of spruce mixtures. Coming off the bridge, though, we do have the sawmill. This one was an interesting one to build. It actually looks a lot like my starter house for the new series on my hardcore world for 1.19. Feel free to check that out if you want. But uh, this one was fun. I just build the entire interior. The interior was fun because it was like, I basically could do whatever I want. It's just wood everywhere. Let's just place wood slabs or wood blocks everywhere we can. Also on the outside too, I always liked the mine, mine rails going over the logs and like making them look like they're strapped in. It always is a nice touch. We will get to the later episode buildings over here right after we walk up this. There was a whole episode. I did not, I honestly thought this was going to be a throwaway episode. It was just something that I needed to build. Didn't think people would be interested in watching this be built, but Man, I mean, thank you guys for uh, receiving this positively as well. I appreciate it. This was this was one of the more interesting ones for sure because it was a very abstract. I did not plan anything. I was like, I need to just get up this mountain and at least we can have like some cool lights going all the way up. 
getting to the top over here there's just a well little campfire circle here obviously a bench and uh, yeah you can get up here you can see basically the whole town of what we have so far it's not much but it is something it is something there is a lot like we have the giant castle uh, the town hall and the cathedral over here on the other side we'll get closer to those builds as well as the new deep slate tower Hopping down here the quick way. I'm definitely going to hurt myself doing this, but I want to get to the aqueducts. Oh, right there. Okay, so look at this. This is fun. We just have water basically coming out of the mountain at two different elevations here. And uh, it's completely made out of deep slate. It's a lot of detail. If I hop down here, it's a lot of spruce and a lot of deep slates again. But if hopping down, getting closer to it, this thing was super fun to build. It's very just easy towers going up and just water dripping right down. Coming back to the bottom of the mountain staircase, you can actually take a left over here. We have one of the two cozy campsites, and I'll show you guys the cozy campsites in a little bit, but we have the one of the two right here. And behind them is actually a little pathway that leads to the entrance of this modern house up here. There is a secret cave pathway to get up into the house, and then there's really no way else into the house other than, or out of the house other than jumping. Oh, empty flower pots. That's funny. I always forget to do the interior or finish the interior, but this was the best I could do for a modern house. Up up farther away, it does look a little cool, cooler, but like in, in here, I don't know. I was trying to keep it like thin with the decorations. I, I always put too many decorations in, and a lot of people have been commenting on that, like, yo, just chill with the decorations a little bit. But uh, that's what I try to do with this build. I try to take it easy, and so, I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Hopping over this way, we do have the Copper Factory. This thing was made entirely of bricks and deep slate. This thing took so long. It actually did, this was the second longest thing it took to make. The first one was that castle back there. When we get up closer, you'll realize why, because the interior was cool too, but um, this brick at Copper Factory was absolutely insane. It took me an episode and a half, basically, but I did mess up the recording on the second half of it, so sorry about that, but this took a lot of materials and a lot of time. It's pretty basic when you get up close. It's all kind of the same pattern over and over. We just have tower after tower, um, with the conveyor belts leading up into there, obviously leading to the copper being smelted in there, which is not actually happening, but, you know, based off of the build, I tried to get that to happen. Next to here, we do have the hanging garden build that we did, and this one was cool. I saw a picture of, like, a like a historic picture of, like, a hanging gardens or, like, what it may have looked like in the past, and I thought it was super cool, and so I decided to build it in Minecraft, and it, this one was fun because my favorite biome in Minecraft is the flower forest, and uh, this allowed me to just use every single type of flower and plant or type of foliage just in the game that I'd already acquired. Um, obviously, I haven't been to a flower forest yet in this game, so you didn't see any tulips, but everything else that I have was up in here, and oh man, this one, this one was fun to build. Taking the fun way down and hurting myself just a little bit in the process, we can go over to the library. We have a trading hall for the library that we just built very recently. This is actually a pretty simple design. You can base it out of just the way that um, you can just space out all of the librarians. I basically just put a bunch of library blocks, or the book blocks, right next to each other um, in a fashion to where you can have the librarians in here, and then I built the deep slate building around it. There are two floors here. Uh, I was trying to get all of the enchantments. I haven't been able to do that yet. It does take a little bit of time. I was thinking about doing that on stream, but I don't really stream from this world that often. Most of the streams are from the hardcore world or from the subscriber server on Twitch. Okay, we have an unfinished mushroom. That's embarrassing. I did not even notice that until I was over here. But uh, we do have the Eiffel Tower that we built. This thing was nuts. To f this one, this thing was fun. And I, I took like an old picture of uh, the Eiffel Tower, like a pixelated version of it. And I basically just put a bunch of deep slate and spruce, put my uh, spin on it. And uh, voila, this one was awesome. Like it's, it, there's not, it doesn't take you all the way up, but it does go up a little bit, like halfway. So you can at least get somewhat of a view. I unfortunately haven't built too much in this area yet so if you go over this way there's just an ocean view but you can get a good view of the rest of the town and what we've done in the past 49 episodes next i'm gonna hop over and show you guys the dog dojo this was actually you know what let's just get a little further away the dog dojo is obviously in the shape of a dojo and there's just too many things that are in the way right now for the recording but yeah i tried to do my best to get this dojo to look good with the, the spruce and the deep slate and the glowstone right there but the dogs sure seem to love it they're chilling they don't really have a choice because uh, i'm making them sit here but yeah, I mean, they, at least all of the dogs. There was a bunch of wolves that spawned out here, and then I bred a couple more, and now we have a bunch of dogs just chilling in here. And I've never really had... This is the first time, or first world, I guess, where I've had a, an area for the dogs to be able to chill. I usually just have them all scattered around. Before I forget, I'm not going to get too far away. We do have this giant deer statue. This one was pretty fun. 
to build. It was, uh, I, I, there was like a cubicle thing on Pinterest, and I don't know what cubicle is exactly, but they uh, designed these very strange, just like cube animal designs, and I used that actually and put it into Minecraft because it's perfect. It was like a one for one design. I actually just doubled it up. For one block, I used two um, in the design to make it a little bit bigger, and uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys watched that. Thank you guys so much. This wolf is still out here getting sheep. My dude, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to us? Stop! You're just depleting the population. I tried to get more sheep over here, and he's just like, nah, not in my house. The latest episode we did, if you guys have been keeping up with the series, was this mushroom forest. And this one was super fun because we basically just got to take all of our materials that we collected from the dark oak forest, brought it back home. Bro, there, there was a little bit of negative space here, and I was glad to have been able to make it pop with some obviously unnatural looking brown mushrooms and some red mushrooms over here. There is a small bridge that we had built to get uh, from one side to the other uh, for this river, but uh, it's not nearly as intricate as the other one. I spent maybe about five minutes on this. For the other one, I had spent about two and a half hours. We are right in front of the cozy bakery right here though, and this is just a, yeah, just a bakery. There's nothing else to say. It was just a simple house design. What's up, my dude? He, well, he's pretty happy about it. Just a simple house design though, and I hope you guys like it. There's a lot of cake here. Actually, I could eat this now. Let's eat this, eat that, let's eat this again. Let's eat all the cake. I just put a bunch of cake in here, basically as much cake as I could. I thought it'd be fun to decorate this all with just way too much cake. Walking back this way, do we have the big blue mushroom. I surrounded it with a lot of foliage, so it's hard to get a good angle of it very close, unless I'm like high up on the mountain, but that is the big blue mushroom, and I, I'm glad you guys like this one because I want to do a tutorial on this. A lot of people have asked me how I built this. It's actually based off of a mushroom that I saw in better minecraft i don't know about the uh con the white concrete in the middle but the out the exterior of it that was actually based off of something i saw in better minecraft i'm gonna hop in the water actually over here to give you a better look of the next build right next to the hanging gardens uh, or across the river rather we have the fisherman's hut and uh, there actually is no fisherman i haven't been able to get any villagers to come over here and claim any of the barrels or even cauldrons over here i thought there might be some life in this building but they haven't made their way over here yet I got barrels all over the place. We got full cauldrons over here. There's, even on the inside, we have some workbenches for people to go into, but this house is empty, man. The backside kind of just leads to an area. This was the one, this was the one area right here, this little spot. I haven't been able to think of something to put here. I might just put another well, but I, I don't like looking at like when there's just an, a little, I want there to be something here. I, I need this whole area to be hectic and filled up. This guy took a cauldron job. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Next up, we do have the steamboat. And this one was awesome. I, I, I love building steamboats. I have one just like this, a little bit smaller in my old hardcore world. But uh, yeah, we actually extended and made it a little bit longer. We used the small wheel design that I put in a tutorial about a couple weeks ago. And uh, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys like this build. The interior of it is uh, basically the same as the exterior. It's not too much, but it's like kind of living in close quarters in here as if you were staying. Coming out the back side of the boat, we can actually show you the mill. This one was actually, uh, this one was cool because it was my first time designing this giant wheel here. And that was actually what inspired the tutorial behind it because people were asking how to build that. But the, the mill itself is a weird design, but the, I really like that it inspired the big wheel design outside of it for me. And in between these two, we actually have a nice little greenhouse design. It's, I based it off of the old turtle sanctuary design in my old hardcore world. But uh, yeah, we just filled it up with a bunch of glowberries, some azalea. I'm pretty sure there's a villager that's stuck up here that cannot claim a job for some reason. Yep, right here. Oh, is there two of them? Yeah, for some reason, they're just stuck up here. They won't claim any job, and uh, yeah, they won't. they also just won't get down. Coming out the back side, we can see the obvious, oh yeah, here is the other cozy campsite before I get anywhere else. This one's kind of cool, it's just, there's nothing to it, it's just a, basically a bunch of randomized blocks put everywhere. The villagers uh, use this for their sleeping quarters, which is kind of cool, I didn't think that, I mean that threw me off a little bit, I didn't think that they would use it, but they did. Off to this side, we actually have the stables, and this is just where I decided to put some horses. I found a lot of cool looking horses, I wanted to put them in here and uh, give them space to roam around. Uh, but it's a double decker. There's area up here to decorate even more if we wanted to. I could, you could make this like a home if you wanted to, if you wanted to put your home up here, if you wanted to use this design and have the stables below. But for right now, I'm just using it as horse stables. And uh, we'll go up to the grand storage hall next. Coming around the side here, we do have Bam, the entrance. So this is where, obviously, if you've been watching the series, where we grab all of our materials from. I have a bunch of chests lined up here with everything that we've grabbed so far. There's not too much because we haven't even been to the end. We haven't explored too much of the nether yet, but we do got it going on right here. We got a bunch of everything that we can get. We have it, and it's all stored here. 
Next up, we have the enchanting room. This was, uh, usually I put them in my houses, but this was, I decided to just make an entirely separate building for the enchanting setup this time. And yeah, this one was fun. This one was super fun to build. I actually wanted to put a couple more books around the outside, but it's fun that they're tiered up and uh, just put the library books all the way up to even spots that we can't reach. And around the back side of the farm over here, we have our barn, but if we decide to take this little detour into a cave, it's going to take us up to this ladder that will take us up to the very tippy top of the mountain. Once you get to this top room, you're going to notice this is just going to leave you to a little cave. I didn't decorate this too much because I just said, you know, it's like underground. I wanted to leave it a little with that underground feel, but we have a hanging beehive design here. This one was cool. Uh, I don't know what I got this idea from. I saw that other people were doing some hanging designs and I wanted to just do like a big looking like circular bead. Oh my gosh, I just fell. Big circular looking beehive and I'm stuck now. Let's get out of here. We'll go up here. Oh, I'm falling. Let's go up here. There we go. Man, I'm trying to give a tutorial or a tour. Oh, my brain's not working. What's going on? Up a little higher. I decided to put like a little campsite up here because uh, I needed to sleep or somewhere to sleep while I was building this little crane holding onto the beehive. If we actually go back through the cave though, onto the other side, we have something miraculous and it's a staircase leading to more buildings. More buildings. We have the cathedral over here, and there is a little bit of life up here now. Some of the two of the villagers actually made their way up here. I can only find one of them now. I heard one, huh? There he is. And then there's another one here, too. He's just trying to get into the cathedral. You can't get in there that way, bud. You gotta go in from this side. The cathedral was cool. It was a, a good excuse for me to use a lot of the uh, glowstone that I had, and I hadn't really ever built a church or cathedral design. And uh, I actually built this off of a Lego design that I saw. Literally, uh, just some Legos. And uh, just some regular church pews. This was kind of cool to build. It was, it was, I'd never done anything like this, so I always like to try to challenge myself and build something new. Super basic on the interior, uh, super bright, and then super dark back here. I don't know, I thought it was ominous, and I thought it was cool. I still need to put a lectern in there, though, too. I actually completely forgot to put a lectern in there. Running around the back side of the cathedral, you can see this is the furthest we have made it this way. We have not uh, constructed anything over here yet. We have a little town hall. Not much going on here. I just decided to call it a town hall because I thought it was cool that it was all the way at the top of the mountain. And uh, it's just kind of a pyramidal design, but it just goes up with deep slate and spruce all the way again. And then next, we do have this monstrosity right here. This was actually the first castle made out of calcite and diorite and all that and nether blocks that uh, I had ever used. And so this this was fun. This one was a really fun one to build. It actually took two whole episodes to get everything done because we have this exterior here along with the other tower leading to the bridge, uh, leading from the bridge, but we have the inside here that I decided to build two stories or three stories. Wait, uh, maybe even four stories. I don't remember, but we have rooms filled. I usually do not go this hard on the interior of any of my builds. Yeah, three stories. There we go. But I thought there were... Yeah, never mind. Four stories. So we can, wait, is this, so there's four, and then wait, is this five? Okay, I'm a liar. Five stories, technically, the fifth one we did not decorate. Then we can pop out the back side of this into the bridge, and look at that sunset, man. You can see everything from over here. You can get a back side of, or the side view of the windmill that I haven't really been able to show you yet. I'll get over to the other side of the, maybe stand on the aqueducts and show you a good view of this, but the back of the castle, or maybe the front, that leads to this, which is just a giant tower that we can go in and out of. And if you watch this, I've spent a lot of time, I, I, this is my favorite way to go up and down the mountain, because it's just, it, I can't, it looks like I'm going up if I zoom in. And so, it's just fun, I like doing that. Coming out this way though, this tower actually, oh, what's up my dude? This tower leads right, oh, and also, what's up my dude? Leads right into the Grand Storage Tower, and actually up there, I can't really get up there very easily, but I can zoom in, we do have the Amethyst Hot Air Balloon. That was the mo one of the more recent builds that we just built, along with that deer statue. Um, I just needed an excuse to use the Amethyst, and I thought the Hot Air Balloon and the deer statue with the antlers uh, was a good idea to uh, get some of those blocks out of the inventory. We do have that windmill, it's just, perched right into the mountain. We just dug it right in there, and uh, yeah, I thought it was cool, because I like putting windmills next to farms usually, but this one, I decided, you know what, I just wanted to put something that was in the mountain to give the mountain a little bit more than just dirt and grass. Next, we have this deep slate fountain design, and there's nothing really in here. We just have a little bit of underwater. I, I should have put some fish in here. That would have been cool, but I haven't found any tropical fish yet, so we'll get there at some point in this series. Uh, but yeah, this was a fountain that we decided to build, and I hope you guys like it. It's kind of like flares out with the with the deep slate and then the water coming from the top uh going in different directions each time i uh yeah i really do hope you guys like this and then last but not least and i'll, I'll walk backwards through the forest maybe a little bit through the fire and the flames uh we'll go backwards this is the giant 
deep slate tower that we had built. This was nuts. This one took a while to build also. If you, yeah, I mean, there's so much um, detail on the outside of it. I didn't spend too much on the interior. Uh, so don't look, don't, don't take a, too much of a look here, but uh, we can go up to the tippy top. There's something that I wanted to show you around the backside. The exterior or the tippy top of these is uh, more of what I paid attention to. And so if you walk outside like this, it'll start to look nice. You can see, get a good view of the hot air balloon, get a good view of the whole town from up here too. You can see there's the big blue mushroom. There's the Eiffel Tower from here. We even can see the deer. It's kind of all by its lonesome over there, but I just wanted to put something over on that side of the world. Also, you got a good view of the copper factory back here too. You can't really see because it's very, very big up close. And so once we're on this guy here, you can kind of get a very good view of the world. Now that I'm up here, I am noticing that we have a villager that is just stuck in a tree. I do not know how he got there, but we gotta save him. We can go out the back side that we had decorated, and that just leads to back up here to the town hall on the back side of the Calcite Castle. Uh, coming down the path that we haven't really put any stones or anything yet. It looks like there is a... yeah, I don't know how this farmer got stuck up here. Let's, uh... Let's let him out. We do have silk touch on this axe, so let's just... Oh, now I'm stuck. Now I'm stuck. You can you can fall. You can fall. You got this. And he's good. He's good. And that, guys, is going to be the end of the world tour. There's really... That's really it. There's not that... Oh, I just broke some grass or some wheat. I haven't uh, put too much in this world. I know it looks a little bit bigger from, like, when we're playing. I don't explore it all, but this is it. We get... Like, if, if you can pretty much see everything within, like, a 15-chunk radius around us, which is, I don't know, maybe a little bit larger than a lot of people's worlds, but it, it, for what I want to get done with this world, I feel like we're not even close. We're not even scratching the surface. There is so much more that we need to do with this. Um, guys, thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. The world download link is in the Discord. I put the Discord link down below. And uh, the Patreon, anybody that's in the Patreon, thank you so much. If you, All the names uh, displayed at the end of the videos, those are people that are patrons. If you want to join, feel free. I appreciate you guys if you do. And then also, feel free to keep joining on the twitch streams a lot of you guys are coming in from youtube and i really do appreciate seeing y'all in there it's awesome chatting with you guys live thanks again guys episode 51 will be coming out soon and uh, yeah guys take care of yourselves bye